Hi, I'm Tony Weisberg. And I'm Rabbi Dr. Leon Weisberg. We are both children of Holocaust survivors. We are second generation. My parents did not speak very much about the Holocaust. You shouldn't know, you shouldn't know. That was always the, the uh, jargon. So many Jews and non-Jews, youngsters, don't know the story. It's almost been a whitewash. Hi, my name is Lori Suskind. I've been on the board of directors of the David Posnack JCC for over 30 years. We must always remember, we must never forget, we must never let it happen again. And the purpose of educating is to reach out to individuals who know very little, if anything, about the Holocaust, about the greatest catastrophic event of the 20th century. The Manya Nudel Holocaust Learning Center was open in 1989 with funding from the Nudel family. And over the years, the program unfortunately lost its way as a Holocaust Learning Center and became more of a room at the JCC with Holocaust artifacts in it. Four years ago, we lost one of our founders, George Gottlieb. And that made us realize that we really needed to look at the Holocaust Learning Center and how we could bring it into the 21st century. I can't say enough about the creative genius of my partner who has visualized this, and, and that's Craig. The way that I design is I layer. So from the outside corridor are copper handmade doors that had meaning that at the time we didn't even realize. So the word here, Zachor, is remember, and we're commanded in the Torah to remember as if we were at Sinai. We can't let anyone forget. 11 million people were killed, 6 million Jews and 5 million non-Jews. As you walk into the room and you turn around, the G20 cattle car door is as close to a replica as possible. From there, we brought in 3,000 pounds of railroad tracks and had it made into a sculpture for our display cases. But these rails reflect the idea that they were transported by train to these camps. The stained glass panels originally, it was a beautiful piece of stained glass that I must admit I knew nothing about. And through the years, it kind of lost its meaning. So what we did is we reimagined what we would do with the stained glass feature. I felt putting it behind a light box, igniting it, so that all of its amazing features would be understood. Leon educated us on so many things that we had missed. The flames, the vision of the lady, the swastika, the spilled wine. The spilled wine and maybe even blood. What does it say on the cup? Kiddush. So this symbolizes the Jews who died, they died al Kiddush Hashem. After taking a trip to Amsterdam, it was eye-opening that we should have an Anne Frank annex. And that was something that I don't believe has been done anywhere else in the country. I was able to find cobblestone from Amsterdam. We have an entire replica of the Anne Frank room, including a bookcase that you can open. When you walk into the Anne Frank annex, it's inspirational on what they did to try to survive and get through one of the darkest times of our history. The most important element when we talk about Anne Frank is that she, her belief was that even though we're going through all this, I really believe that people are still good at heart. But then the really cool part of it is when you go outside to the garden. To me, that speaks of, okay, I went through hell, but I've now made it. I'm at peace. There was a light at the end of the tunnel and we survived and we will survive. And as you see that fence, you see the railroad tracks that are there and the same foliage that was there at the camps. And it makes you say, that's inside, I'm outside, we're free. So how do you become inspirational when it comes down to the Holocaust? You let the platform speak. The new center is state-of-the-art. It's come to the 21st century. It appeals to a new generation. They want it to be intense. They want it to be concentrated. They're able to learn in the way that they can learn best. The monitors around this room are guided curriculum that has been created by our educators. And this curriculum teaches the lessons of the Holocaust, post-Holocaust, and then the relevant issues of the day, 
all through technology. There are 10 topics uh, in, in this whole array of, of, of modules. You walk around the room, see the monitors, and it educates you from the beginning to the end and afterwards on everything that happened with the Holocaust and how racial injustice and genocide happens throughout our lives today. We speak about Cambodia, we speak about Rwanda, we speak about Darfur. Further than that, we also talk about advocacy and activism. We want to make sure that the viewer has an understanding that there are things that you can do. It's not just look at these videos and they'll walk away and that's it, oh, that was nice. No, you have to become what we call an upstander. We can't allow anyone to be bystander. Truth and justice takes many forms. It is a far-reaching, multi-layered, deeply entrenched system, both in America and around the globe. In addition, we are using Oculus virtual headsets to identify three specific events, Kristallnacht, Auschwitz, and the Anne Frank story. Writing lets me get rid of it all. My sorrow disappears, my courage is revived. One of the aspects of our technology, which is really important, is that because it's computer driven, and we could change it anytime we want. We could adapt it, we could make it even more current. This is not just static. This is absolutely uh, lifelong learning. Lawrence and Marcy Gottlieb and Dr. Jack Newdell, they have made this happen. The entire Gottlieb family has been mentions throughout the entire process. It wasn't how we could make them shine. It was how we can do it, speak to our mission. You know, since the early 90s, Jack Newdell and his family have played such an important part of the Manya Nudel Holocaust Learning Center. And now as the Manya and Max Nudel Holocaust Learning Center, Jack continues to invest in education. If and not for them, we certainly would not have the opportunity and the privilege of doing the kind of work that we're doing. So we are grateful and we are thankful. And everything that they've done for us will allow this Holocaust Learning Center to survive, to be relevant well into the future. Each one of the components of this room have been donated at very graciously. These donations help to fund the educational components of this room. They, they gave Tony and myself the privilege and the honor of being a part of this program. Man's inhumanity to man continues to happen in our world. There have been other holocausts, other genocides, if you will. One of the messages that we hope students will take away from here is that we are all different, but we are all uh, one and we need to accept each other. And I think this place, this sacred place, is a place for dialogue, for conversations, to talk about all the issues of the day and to teach a future generation to stand up against racism and intolerance and hatred and oppression. That's our goal. In addition, Yiddish, Israeli politics, current events, all of those things can take place in this room, which is a room for Holocaust and Jewish education. I'm really excited and I'm really proud to leave this lasting legacy to our David Posnack JCC and to our community. <laughs>